Good morning, Julie. Good morning. Good morning, YouTube mine exploring fans. Tom and Julie here. We're here at an old mine. This was first established as a claim in 1871. It was a silver lead mine and later silver chloride. There's a cool chute here that comes down. There's some higher workings. You can see the waste pile up there. I'm standing on top of a pretty big waste pile. And there are workings all the way down this mountainside, it looks like. And then way in the distance down there, probably around a thousand feet down, is a stamp mill, a single stamp mill. And we're going to hike down there later. So let's get going, climb on the hill. We're going to go up to these upper workings and see what we find, and we'll start there. That's looking out over Death Valley. In fact, I believe Telescope Peak is straight ahead in the middle of the shot there. This way there are all kinds of little workings on this steeply angled vein. Uh, and then up the hill is a few more. So we're going to start all the way up the hill, but... Well, here's a pretty big opening. That's some different looking stuff there. Crystals, you can see how they're formed in cubes. This kind of goes all over the place, doesn't it? Yeah. Up, down, around. Up, down, all around. I don't know much about silver chloride. Is that what all those lights are Yeah, very haphazard workings around here. There's little diggings everywhere. crystals the way it's cubed like that. Okay, this has the look of uh, inside of a geode. Isn't that crazy? All those crystals. Here, turn your light off once. Here I've got a uh, oh, wow, they fluoresce. Look at that. They fluoresce orange. That's pretty cool. Okay, turn your light back on so you can see what we're looking at. So we're looking at this whole wall of stuff here that would all for us like that. Okay, here are these crystals again. Let's try one more with the ultraviolet. Let me... Okay, now you turn your light off. Yeah. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's pretty cool in person. Isn't it, Julie? Yeah, it's awesome. So let's go a little further in here. Okay, cut your light once. Look at that. Wow. It's like we're inside a geode. I think it's Geo that I'm thinking of. Look at that, wow. Okay, there's a whole big set of crystals up here. All right. I wish I knew what these are. These chloride crystals? They might be. This might be silver chloride. So here's this white vein there of all crystals. Let's look at that in the UV spectrum. So it's just that narrow band. Man, that is cool looking though, isn't it? Yeah. I hope it's coming out on the camera. 
All right, well, you could sit and look at this all day, but we've got other things to do, so let's go do them. Okay, let's take a slow trip over this way. Wow, look at the echo. Oh. It's so weird. There must really be a hard rock at it. I don't see any vein here. No. Boy, that does echo. Woo. I can see the face already. Man. This would make a good bomb shelter. It would make a good place to play some music. The natural reverb. Here's the face. Here are some pockets they've dug out. And they went back that way, but we didn't see anything. This vein comes over this way. And then we're back to this neat area here with all the crystal structures. And see, we're not very far in here, so. Let's see what else we have around here. Besides beautiful views. Look how rugged this is. It's crazy. Do you want to go down this thing? Down here? Yeah. I'm going to go down in this hole for a minute. See what we see. Man, 1871. Think of those guys digging around here then. That's a long time ago, huh? Mm -hmm. 150 years, is it? Wow. You, you weren't even born yet. Follow Julie. Looks like it's open to the outside there too, huh? Yeah. Okay, we came down that little slope. Short 20 footer to the left. There's an old ladder, it looks like. It's a low guy. Yeah, it is a narrow one. Mm -hmm. Goes up into a little stope. There's some more crystalline stuff. These look like gray crystals of some sort. Oh yeah, there was track in here, some tie bumps. Here's the face on this little mini crosscut. And then here's the face of this other. These aren't very long workings. They don't go very deep into the hill. Interesting though. This vein has a little more red in it.
another opening. Not sure if it goes anywhere. There's a pretty good waste pile outside of it. It doesn't go anywhere, does it? Yeah. Huh. That's interesting. There's some stuff there. Oh yeah, here's more of this crystalline stuff. Yeah. I'll have to ask one of my geologist friends what that is. Definitely a strange vein, isn't it? Isn't it though? There's kind of a hellacious looking open cut here. It's a lot of stuff above it on this waste pile. Um, it goes in and down to the right. I suppose I could try taking a peek. Okay, that's part of it. Up. And this is the part that goes down. I don't think it's going to go real far. It's like an old door. It's this kind of interesting looking vein they're following. Like it just stops down here. The vein is almost iridescent purple when I see it out of the direct light. That's it. Crazy area geologically speaking. That's looking up where it came from. There's a big U-bolt I found down in there. I'm gonna throw them out there for somebody else to see. All right guys, what's this thing? I thought it was heavier duty like a cylinder and a piston inside of it, but it's not, it's, it's fairly light duty. And there's a hub or something right over there. There's a fairly heavy duty rubber bucket. It's uh, it's pliable and I can't believe it's not broken to sh pieces after sitting out here in the sun all this time. It's still pliable. Alright, we're heading down to see if that's a mill down there or what it is. Not easy going down this actual uh, pile and slope. Everything's loose. Well, here's what's left of a dynamite box. It looks like a DuPont, I think. It looks like the DuPont logo there, doesn't it? If you turn it to turn, slowly turn it a little bit again. Yeah, right there. What is that? Yeah, that says DuPont. And then the other side is just says high explosives. Okay, there's our neat little dynamite box. Maybe the rest of it's around here somewhere. It's right there. Yeah, there it is actually. I'll put those pieces with it when I leave. Maybe somebody will nail it back together. The bridge. Bridge ahead. Doesn't look like it's over anything to speak of. Is there something down there? Just a little bit. A lot of green stuff down there. What's that? That's something the rats have brought in? That's probably... Oh, that's just something the rats have brought in. Oh, that's plant material, isn't it? Yeah. 
Oh, here's a neat stove. There's a few stalls and a plank. It looks like a working plank for a scaffold. Oh, there was track in here. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's a piece of, that's like a track switch. Here's a little cross cut. 10 feet left, 12 feet left. And to the right, a little gob wall, a rat's nest, a fuel can, and about a 20 foot cut to the right. Here's some ventilation tubing. That goes a little ways. Oh, I see a ladder. Oh boy. Ooh. There was track in here. I'm surprised that they put track for that little distance. Well, that's a nice looking ladder. Now this is a ladder. That is a solid. Look at that. Oh, it doesn't really go anywhere. Mm -hmm. Or does it? There's a hole up there. Well, let's see if we can climb it. Okay, Tom's going to go up the ladder. It's the sturdiest ladder I think I've ever seen. Yeah, it's made out of all two by fours. Yeah. This ladder is not from 1871, that's for sure. No, years. it's a newer ladder. I don't know if you can go up past this stuff. It's pretty Look, slippery. It looks slippery. Goes up to a little teeny hole up here. I don't think I can get up there. Okay, let's go on back down then. Here's a top to a small carbide can. National Carbide. Kind of neat. Let's put that with the dynamite box. I put the rest of the pieces in there, so there's a project for somebody if you want to come and get it and nail it back together. I've done it a couple times and left them in the mines for people to see. But I had a hammer too. All right, we found another portal here. Let's take a look. Let's go a short ways over here. Up to the top there. And just a short ways down there. Another little pocket. Here's another opening. Looks like they had vent line hanging there. I can't imagine it goes that far. None of them have so far. more feet. I'm not going to crawl in there. There's some big planks. Real 2 by 12s Those things. I think we've intersected a road, looks like below me, but I spotted this, it looks like a piece of tire. Can you imagine riding on those little old tires? It's probably at the most three inches wide if you flattened it out a little bit. Oh, yeah, okay. that's okay. So it looks like this was an old road or a trail of some sort, and we're heading down to the mill. Okay, this is crazy. 
There's a one stamp mill out here in the middle of nowhere. It's quite a ways below the mine we've been exploring, which is way at the top of the ridge on the horizon as far as you can see. This is looking out into Death Valley. There's a trail that comes up over here, which is right ahead of Julie, but I don't see how you would haul any ore maybe down it on a mule. This would be the mount for the engine, which would line up with the big wooden drive wheel there, which would turn the shaft there and the cam. See, there's a double cam there on that shaft and it would hit the lifting block and lift the, the hammer up. It looks like it, there's two cams, so it would, it would go up and down twice every revolution of the main shaft. Union Tool Company from LA. And the hammer's still here. Everything's here. This is crazy, what's it doing out here? I noticed that this one support on this side, I was standing up on top of it, is getting pretty rotten. So somebody should come and beef up these two supports right here. Otherwise this thing's going over. This is the back side of it. Wow. This little funnel here is where you would have fed the ore. Oh, you can see on this edge here. We would have fed the ore down into this area on top of the hammers. And every time it would lift up, a certain amount would slip past that and fall into the area where the hammers are. Pretty crazy. I can't believe this thing's out here. I mean, it's really cool to see it. I don't know if we've seen a stamp mill in Death Valley before, have we, Julie? Out in so. the wild? I don't think so. I know we've seen some uh, other places, but I don't think we've seen any in Death Valley. I know there have been several, and some of them were huge, but we just haven't seen them. That is pretty cool. This broken piece might be part of the uh, cam up there. I'm not sure. I can't see it good enough to see if it's broken off, but... Here's the hammer. Bang, bang. Can you imagine this thing banging away out here in the middle of nowhere? And how in the heck did they get ore to and from this thing? Wow. I mean, that's crazy. This was a prospecting mill installed in 1910. It was for milling ore on site to prove the mine and hopefully attract funding to build a larger mill. Later in the year, it was discovered the water supply was not sufficient to run the mill. So, after just a brief time, the mill was idled and the company decided instead to ship the ore to Rhyolite to an idle mill there for reduction. Hope you guys are enjoying this because this is a real treat for us to see. Now we get to climb the hill back up there. It's got to be at least what? Steep and rocky. Probably a thousand feet or better. And yeah, there's no trail that we found. Probably a big hit and miss engine down here. Lines up with the drive wheel there. Bang, bang, bang. Here's an old Haveline, Haveline motor oil can. One quart made in the USA. H A V O L I N E. I'm chugging up the waste by her pile here looking at stuff. Might be some more things up here. Final place of the day for exploring, then we are going home. The end of this timber is hand. Uh, Chopped with an axe, it looks like. All right. Yeah.
Grand Poland Hall. We're both a little tired after hiking up from that mill. Legs are a little shaky. Yeah, my legs are a little shaky too. I don't know. Oh yeah, there's sulfur right over your head here. And to the right, see it? Tired. Knees are sore. Yeah, a little bit of everything right in here. It looks like done that. Yeah. Wow, colorful. Slabbing off a little bit too, and it. This stuff we're walking on. Anything in there? No, it just goes a little bit. It's about the end of the line, huh? Hmm. Well, we gave her our best shot today. Mm -hmm. Good job, Julie. Thanks, you too. It's hot out there today, too. Good yeah, it feels pretty good. Just about.